What's up friends, this is Sergio, I'm at Sports Cards Plus in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, and I'm about to show you, I've been wanting to do a little video about this for a little bit, how I protect my cards. A couple years ago, before going to the National, I bought this little Pelican case. I love Pelican cases. Went to a little trophy shop and got one of these suckers made up um, so I could identify it. And uh, Then I just cut out the little insert in the correct shape for a top loader or a magnetic one touch and these fit nice and snug in here pop out slide in nice way to keep them protected actually better for magnetic one touches because I made the holes a little bit bigger uh, so if you just have them in a top loader if you don't have it sealed up at the top the cards can slide up and down when you're carrying these around so if you keep those pretty tight you're good to go um, but this only holds uh, what was it? I think I think 10 uh, 130 point magnetic one touches in each side, so about 20 there. So I needed something bigger. I saw one of these Pelican cases. It's not cheap. I think MSRP is about 150. I've got a friend that got it for me for a better price. Um, but Pelican 1520 is what this is. Show that to you right there. And I cut this thing out. I spent about three hours cutting out all the slots for this to be used for BGS cards, uh, or graded cards in general. I've got some PSA in here. And so th essentially what I've got here is uh, 11 in each slot. So I've got 11 here, alternated. So you can see that the next one is like one pixel higher to use that as a uh, you know a term that people might understand. It's, so a little bit higher, they're offset. And I offset them strictly so that between cards, it, it kind of structurally has a little more strength, a little more integrity, so that I don't have holes right next to a tiny gap in a hole. Here I've got nothing next to this, nothing next to this, nothing next to this, so a little more structural integrity. So I put all that. None of my cards, none of my graded cards are really worth much. Um, most of mine are just uh, graded cards. This is a uh, Population 2 Bryce Petty Pristine 10 out of 10. One away from a black label. Well, there's a nice Sam Bradford, 9.5 out of 10, but most of my stuff, okay, there's another Chrome Petty. Most of my stuff, see, this is a one of one from a long time ago, 2012. I think this is Terrence Ganaway, one of one. I got the whole Terrence Ganaway rainbow graded from that set. I love that set of Leaf Draft. So nobody's going to care about those. I've got some nice RG3. You know, I really liked all those collegiate. Here's an old No Sean Moreno. I don't know why I still have that. Tim Tebow, I keep that because um, I like uh, Florida Gators. Here's a nice one, nostalgic. Bad grade, but RG3 and Kendall Wright that I got when they first came out. There's a nice RG3. Tyrod Taylor, exquisite. Mike Kafka, exquisite out of 10. I don't think he's even in the league anymore. So there's a nice LeGarrette Blunt 9.5 for a sweet spot autograph. That's outrageous. If that guy had done much, that'd be a nice card. RG3 SP Authentic out of 25. Some Bryce Petties, more Terrence Ganaway, some, some more Bryce Petties. Here's a Trent Richardson, one of one from Alabama, graded 9.510. And the rest are basically cards that are worthless to most of you and just worth money to me as a collegiate collector of one particular school. Then I've got space here on the sides for more cards, more Baylor collegiate stuff. And I believe I've got my National Treasures rainbow over here with my... NFL Shield one of ones and stuff like that. So, um, nice way to keep your cards in order. So, I've got space here on the right hand side for top loaders and different stuff like that. Uh, I put this over here, and this thing closes extremely tightly. So, you can see it, this thing's closing, and these top loaders are really pushing into this. So, nothing's really moving. Even the stuff here on the side isn't moving. It takes some force to get this to close and because Pelican's made in America every one of these put together by hand I saw a little documentary on it I think um, one of the I don't, I don't remember if it was just on YouTube or if it was on TV but about how these are tested and all that stuff so water can't get in I don't think it's uh, long-term fire resistant but really cool case wish I had more valuable cards to put in it but, uh, you know, took some time, but I think it's beautiful and it's a nice way for me to keep my most valuable 
cards, at least uh, sentimentally valuable. So there you go, there you have it. That's my little uh, video on how I keep my most valuable cards encased. Hope you enjoy.